don't know what caused this kidney failure and it happened so suddenly. Over the last eight years, it's been progressively worse and the last two years, it was really bad. And perhaps ibuprofen is the only thing I can pinpoint. And just a mild ibuprofen every day or every other day to kind of help with arthritis or anything that, you know, any aches or pains. So uh, that I've learned. I've learned that my husband loves me <laughs> deeply. <laughs> and uh, this is all because of him. I'm doing this <laughs> and me. And our 50th wedding anniversary is coming up April 30th, and I want to have this finished by then. That's my goal. I was told three months ago that I have uh, chronic kidney failure, and I'm one point from really needing a kidney. Uh, my GFR is 16. And this has been going on for eight years, and nobody told me until three months ago. So we have been very stressed out in trying to get everything done so that we can have a kidney transplant. This stack of work right here, I don't know if you can see it, is three months of stress <laughs> right here. <laughs> it's all my lab works uh, going to Anschutz. I'd like to say that um, normally I would have eight years if this had been, if I had noticed this or brought if I had brought it to my own attention, eight years to work on getting a donor and having a new kidney in my body, and I'd be done with it, okay? And this is what we want other people to realize for themselves. That's the first thing. The second thing is uh, we, we have three months instead of eight years, and we've worked on this. We've gone to Western I can't, can I say Western Nephrology uh, in Louisville? Uh, I have a help there with a, a kidney doctor and also Anschutz at, in Denver. Uh, the University of Colorado is very well known for their kidney program and we've gone through their entire kidney program with all the doctor tests and whatnot. Um, and then the, the way that they, we learned if we get a donor, the way they, uh, what do you say? Qualify the donor. Qualify donor, the donor is extremely uh, careful. The donor is, <laughs> it takes priority. They have 100% success with uh, their donors because the donors uh, are also screened and uh, checked for their health and um, they, it only lasts one day, the operation, and they're out of there, and they will be followed up for two years with free health care at the University of Colorado, including cancer. And I think that's really wonderful. We both feel that uh, I've had uh, blood tests and, you know, uh, I've gone to a doctor every single year or every, every six months. I've had all the tests that are required. And the thing is they missed this uh, GFR going down, down, down. The doctors missed it. And so it's really up to the individual to focus in on the lab results that they get each six months. I never even paid much attention, you know, they get it and they say you're fine, you're healthy, you're going to live to be 95. I'm 72 now and, you know, this was my goal, 95, and I'm having such a good time with my husband in retirement. So that's what I'm working towards. Well, uh, I like to reiterate something, mention something here is that it's our responsibility uh, to uh, to follow our, our health healthfulness of our kidneys and uh, everybody and uh, the physicians whether they over didn't see something or not uh, you should know what your blood pressure you know what your blood pressure is you should know the status of your kidneys and anything under a GFR of 60 suggests that you have some form of kidney disease not serious but you need to be aware of it and you need to know if your children have this, you know if your parents have it, your spouse has it, 
you, it's just a common uh, responsibility of healthcare. And uh, I wasn't aware of any of this. Uh, uh, most people, I don't think most people would. They'll know what their GFR is. They may know what their cholesterol is. They have no idea what their kidney function is. And when a kidney function is, a GFR is 30, it means your kidneys are functioning at 30% of capacity. And uh, that's really important to know that. Um, I, uh, uh, I, I think that's really all I have to say. It's your responsibility not to, to check the lab results. If you're, out of, if you're out of the range, you should know it. If your physician doesn't bring it to your attention, you've got to bring it to his attention. And uh, you take care of your, your, your friends and know your function of your kidneys. And uh, I mean, I think, we think that Char only had one kidney the whole time. She had one kidney that wasn't functioning for years. We don't know that. And then she has another kidney that didn't do well at all and it just plummeted, everything plummeted. But that may be true with a lot of people. So uh, there are 27 million people in the United States that have some form of kidney disease. And how many people have kidney disease and don't even know it? So it's something that we need to be more aware of, I think. You don't want surprises like this. Uh, click the button below to follow Char's journey and find out the various ways you can help us spread the message.